what this chapter points out very deeply is that we actually have a desire to be a victim. What is people pleasing? Like, how does this show up in our awareness? What are we on the lookout for in our everyday life? Yeah, people pleasing is, is a great topic to talk about, I feel, because it's um, so common. It's one of the biggest defense mechanisms. Yeah, like we're conditioned from birth, basically. Like, this is, this is a good thing. Like, this is you being kind and nice person. You know, of course we want to be nice people. We want to be good people. And, and then the ego kind of gets in there. You know, it became very clear that at the bottom of it was his desire to somehow play less than, sort of be out of the limelight and just sort of not rock the boat. And, you know, well, it feels more comfortable, you know, just sort of not speaking that thought. Certainly the phrase I grew up with was, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Mm -hmm. Especially on the spiritual path, there can be a real conflict with that attempt to, you know, to be spiritual, to be nice, because, you know, we have to speak our mind for bringing bringing us to an authentic place in our hearts. And it's like every time something comes up, you know, that's like, feels like, oh, wow, that's going to hurt someone's feelings. It's like, boom, it's this mechanism to repress. Yeah. And then the life becomes one of compromise, actually, where you're not actually in touch with anything that's really going on. Yeah. When you don't people please, you're actually in the present moment. And from that, you're very authentic and you can very, um, attractive I would say. People know where you're at, people know what you know what you're about. They don't get confused. 